Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Sheldon Race Course here on Saturday. It is November the 18th, 2017. Go look at the stakes races on today's program from Sheldon. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections for race courses around the world. So the races I'll be looking at are the stakes races, or the grade races, races 1, 3, and 4. So the 12.40, the first race the 150 the third race and the 225 the featured fourth race so let's get on to it starting off with the 1240 the first race from Sheldon it's JCB Triumph Trial Juvenile Hurdle Grade 2 race here for Class 1 horses going for a purse of $37,000 it's for juvenile three year olds here field with six horses going the 3200 meter trip or two miles over the hurdle course topic in this race I'm going to use the favorite the four horse gumball um, I think he'll run a big one and uh, you know he, he he has some very nice races under his belt. I'm going to go 4-6-2 in the Tri-Cast of the Trifecta. 4-6-2 Tri-Cast Trifecta. That's going to be the only way you're going to make money with this race. Uh, top pick number 4, Gumball. 3-year-old gelding by no risk at all. Richard Johnson gets the leg up for Philip Hobbs, who trains this one. Most recently, his horse had to start about five and a half weeks ago at, uh, or, or four weeks ago now, at uh, Chepstow. October the 15th, two miles in a Class 4 juvenile hurdle. Horse won easily by eight lengths. He quickened up nicely, jumped well. Easy, easy victory. You know, it, it was like a paid workout. All around great race. Start before Stratford, the 2nd of October, two miles in the juvenile hurdle. Horse won by 31 lengths. Again, field of six horses. Watch the replay. He, oh, another paid workout. Um, you know, he, he jumped easy in his two starts in the UK. You know, he had one other start before that in late April of this year in France, going uh, two miles in the juvenile hurdle. Didn't do anything there, but since the take took this horse to the UK, he's jumped very easily. Should like the course here today. So like a little bit of a give in the ground. I just think over a very big one. So he'll be my top pick. So to recap my bets for the 1240, the first race from Sheldon. It's a JCB Triumph Trial Juvenile Hurdle. It's a great two race. I'm gonna go with the four horse gumball. I'm gonna go four six two in the tri cast of the trifecta. So now let's head on to race number three, the 150 from Sheldon. The 150, it is the betvictor.com handicap chase. Great three race here for class one horses going for a purse of sixty one thousand five hundred dollars. It's for three year olds for four-year-olds, excuse me, four-year-olds and upwards. Field of nine horses going the three miles and three-eighths over the chase course. Top pick in this race, I like the number seven horse here, doing fine. Gonna go seven one six in the tricast of the trifecta. Seven one six tricast trifecta. Top pick number seven, doing fine. Nine to two. Tom Scudamore is on this uh, nine-year-old gelding by presenting. Most recently, this horse had a start the twenty-eighth of October here at Shelton. Mile, uh, three miles and an eighth, and a class two handicap chase. Horse finished third by five and three quarter lengths. He had a little bit of a low weight of one hundred fifty pounds that day, and you know he he just couldn't catch the two in front of him, but it was his first start around here. Maybe he needed that race. I think coming back here today with a little bit of a quick turnaround, I think he'll run a little bit better. Start before the 6th of uh, October, 3 miles and a quarter class 3 handicap. Horse finished 4th by 2 and a quarter lengths. Again, he just couldn't catch the winner. A little bit uh, off the layoff. He, he might need that race. And then and the Bet365 Gold Cup at Sandown, 3 miles and 8th on April 29th. His horse finished 5th by 1 and a quarter lengths. Uh, it was an all-out finish. His horse went off as a 9 favorite. He you know, closed up well, just missed, but it wasn't a half bad race. And then Shelton on the April the 19th, two miles, uh, three miles and a half, and handicap uh, chase. Horse won by six lengths. Easy, easy victory. Um, you know, he, he likes this distance. You know, third start of the season. I think he'll run a big one, so watch out for him. So to recap my bets for the third from Sheldon, it's a great three. BetVictor.com handicap chase. Going to go with the seven horse. Doing fine. I'm going to go seven one six in the TriCast of the Trifecta. So now let's get on to the featured fourth race, the 225. It's the Bet Victor Gold Cup Handicap Chase. Grade 3 race here, going for a purse $197,000. It's for four year olds and upwards. Field of 18 horses. 18 horses going the distance of ground here of 4,000 meters or two miles and one half on the chase course. Top pick in this race, I like the number uh, 10 horse here. Number 10, Star Chip 
Chet, uh, Star Chetlik. I'm saying it wrong, I know, but uh, pardon me, it is very late in the night here in uh, New York City. I um, can't speak and I've had no coffee today, which is a rarity. I'm going to go 1075 in the TriCast to the Trifecta. 1075 TriCast, Trifecta, top pick number 10, Star um, Chitek. Saying it wrong, I know. Um, Tom Scudamore gets the leg up for David Pipe, who trains a six year old going by See the Stars. Most recently, his horse had a start on the, uh, the 2nd of November at uh, Stratford. Two miles, three eighths, and a class three handicap chase. Horse won by three lengths that day. Top weight didn't affect this horse. He just won easy, easy, easy victory off the layoff. You know, it doesn't get any easier than that. Before that, the 19th of April, Sheldon, two miles of five eighths and a grade two silver trophy chase. Uh, you know, this horse finished fifth by 13 lengths, seven to two favorite. He really just did not show up. Uh, maybe the ground was too so, uh, too um, dry. I'm, I'm not sure. It just wasn't his day to win. Um, and, and then start forward in three miles and eighth and a class one uh, listed handicap chase. Horse finished third by 21 lengths. You know, it, again, he didn't show up there at all. You know, he had his three races at the end of the last year, uh, at the end of um, jumping season last year, were horrible. He's a horse that does a lot better at the beginning of the season, going back on his past performances. You know, his, his last win came at air, actually, in early January. Heavy ground, mile 5, 16, 15, 16, at a class 4 novice chase. Horse won by three lengths and had an easy victory. But, it, you know, after the, January, this horse always loses it. I think uh, with it being early on in the season, you know, he should run a lot better. I wouldn't back this horse at the festival in March, but here, I would back him. So watch out for him. Said her cat my bets for the fourth, the 225 from Sheltonham. It's the Gold Cup handicap chase. Gonna go with the 10 horse. Gonna go 1075 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. So, good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kick 5. Good luck, everybody.